The first time in more than 60 years, both unions are walking the picket lines in Hollywood, and the first day of the actor's strike brought out an incredible show of force and threats. Be careful, Be really careful. This menacing message overshadowing the unity seen on the picket lines around Hollywood on day one of the actor's strike. The video from actor Ron Perlman making its rounds on Twitter. Perlman threatening an anonymous Hollywood executive who told Deadline the end game of the actor's strike is to allow things to drag on until union members start losing their apartments and losing their houses. There's a lot of ways to lose your house. Some of it is financial, some of it is karma, and some of it is just figuring out and where he lives. The Hellboy actor's video comes too after Disney CEO Bob Iger, who makes a yearly income of tens of millions of dollars, called the striking actor's expectations of better wages and working conditions unrealistic. They didn't give us anything. They were insulting and incomplete. Perhaps most of the membership, uh, they live not pay paycheck to paycheck, but job to job. There is so much anger on both sides. I don't know what's going to drive a solution here. Entertainment attorney Jonathan Handel with us at six o'clock says the studios are offering a 5% pay increase while SAG, considering recent years historic inflation, wanted 15 but has dropped to 11 percent. Of course they want to catch up payment. Reaction from the studios union says the actors have quote regrettably chosen a path that will lead to financial hardship for countless thousands of people who depend on the industry. You wish that families starve because that's the kind of that stirs up. As for Perlman, Attorney Handel says he could face criminal charges for this rant, calling it completely unacceptable. There is no time or place to be threatening people's homes. Now, originally, Perlman posted that video on his Instagram page, but he deleted it soon after. And tonight, an industry website reports Perlman acknowledged later he got, quote, heated today and says, quote, I don't wish anybody any harm. We do have to be careful with our words, don't we? Yeah, and, and nonetheless tonight, he, he said this shouldn't just be about Porsches and stock options.